18 of the richest people in America calling on the 2020 presidential candidates to tax them more. In a letter sent to each candidate today, they say, quote, we are writing to call on all candidates for president, whether they are Republicans or Democrats, to support a moderate wealth tax on the fortunes of the richest one-tenth of the richest one percent of Americans on us. Signers of the letter include financier George Soros, Facebook co-founder Chris Hughes, and Abigail Disney, a documentary filmmaker and the granddaughter of Roy Disney, who was Walt Disney's brother. And Abigail's here now. Abigail, thank you so much. Thanks Good to see you. Me. Why do you want to pay more taxes? <laughs> it sounds crazy, doesn't it? But it's pretty plain. It's right there in sight for everybody. We are not paying our fair share, and we have not been for a really long time. Yeah. In fact, the last bit of tax relief relieved a, hot, a hell of a lot of people that didn't need relief. Yeah. Um, so it's time that we start speaking up and saying that we don't want any more tax benefits. We really want to see a healthy society. Let's talk about the knock on this, right? So this is a knock on the on the wealth tax, which mm -hmm. Elizabeth Warren has been promoting on the trail, mm -hmm. by the way, is that it would be too difficult to calculate and wealthy people can always find ways to shelter assets. Is that true from your perspective? That, you think? A, that's absurd. It's always that's always the knock. First of all, wealthy people have a perfectly easy time calculating their wealth. They do it every single day. So that's absurd. And second of all, to say that you shouldn't pass a law because people will skirt it is, is what, why do we pass any law? Obviously, we enforce it. So this is just kind of a dodge. Okay, so I have the, you see I have your letter here that you wrote. You wrote this letter back in April, and you write um, that an op-ed calling out uh, Disney CEO Bob Iger for being paid 1,424 times the median pay of the average Disney worker. Mm -hmm. Why is income inequality so important to you? It's it's huge. It's the it's the game changer that we're living in right now. It's because we're creating a, a super class so far above the vast majority of people that, that they don't share the same planet anymore. 47% mm -hmm. of American people can't cope with a $400 emergency. Explain that though, when you said don't share the same planet, I don't think well, people get that. That's that's what I'm talking about. I don't think that the people who are on their private jets or living in incredible riches can even begin to digest what it means to not have $400 for an emergency. I mean, that's just couch cushion money for them. So we've, we've stopped sharing the same reality. Mm -hmm. We don't stand in line with everybody else. We don't wait patiently like everybody else. We've sort of short-circuited all the social processes and created kind of parallel universe that we live in. And that is not good for solidarity. It's not good for opportunity. We've eroded all the paths to the American dream that my grandfather and great uncle took. Yeah. So here's what the Walt Disney Company, here's how they responded, that under Iger, the company has added 70,000 jobs, increased returns for shareholders by 614%, and the stock is trading at historic highs. They highlight their charitable giving and employee wages and benefits. Does that address the issue that you have with this no. company? No. Why not? And every time they push back on me, they push back on me by pushing sideways because they don't want to talk about the central question, which is if your revenues are so great and if everything is so hunky dory, why are people on food stamps? Are they not part of the same uh, wealth generating process that you're part of? And I would argue they are co creators of value inside that company. So I have no quibble with a, a large compensation package for people at the top, as long as people who work for him in a year of record profits are not relying on food stamps, rationing insulin, sharing housing with other people because they can't afford their own. This is absurd. And how you sleep at night when you go home with what translates into about $22,000 an hour, when the people at $15 an hour, you know perfectly well can't make ends meet. I don't know how they sleep at night. You know, I have to ask you that you're also the executive producer of a star-studded uh, reading parts of, uh, of the Mueller yeah. report uh, being streamed online tonight. Yeah, right now. <laughs> <laughs> what is the goal of the event? Well, the goal is just to sort of put um, flesh and bones around the, all the abstractions in the report. And we feel that like, if people hear people say the actual words that are reported there, it'll start to be a little more real. They can sink their teeth into it. I know most people haven't read it. I mean, frankly, I haven't read it. It's too long. I don't have time. So we but need... But you've to... read parts of it. Yes, you've I have. You've heard it, I'm sure. And it's, and, and it's horrifying, and people need to hear it. It needs to be real for them. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Abigail. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. We really appreciate it. Pleasure.